Okay, so for today we're gonna to talk about the basics of the pressure waveform. For me, the peak inspiratory pressure basically is the pressure needed to overcome the resistance and compliance of the lungs. As the air goes in, it needs to overcome any area resistance from the main bronchi to the, bron to the bronchioles. And once inside the lungs, it needs to overcome the compliance of the lungs or the stiffness of the, of the lungs. So here at this end point here, this is your PIP. So let's say this is 20 centimeters of water pressure. That means it needs 20 centimeters of water pressure to go through the airways and expand the lungs. If we want to know the difference between the airways and the lung compliance, we need to do a plateau pressure by doing an inspiratory pause or inspiratory hold. So again, let's say this is 20 centimeters of water pressure and your plateau is 15 centimeters of water pressure. That means that it needs 15 centimeters of water pressure just to keep the lungs open. This plateau pressure itself during the inspiratory pause or inflation hold or inspiratory hold means that there is no air movement uh, on the plateau. The difference between the PIP and the plateau basically is your airway resistance. So in this particular case, on a simple calculation, the resistance in itself is about five. However, there's a separate calculation because you have to consider the flow as well in order to know the exact airway resistance.